Hello, my name is Mary Peek, and I'm a Principal Curriculum Developer here at Oracle. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to create an Application Business Connector Service, or ABCS, using the AIA Service Constructor. In JDeveloper, we'll create a new application, and we'll call it Credit Card Validation. We'll ensure Generic Application is selected and click Finish. Now we'll create a new project. And on this All Technologies page, we'll select Projects and AIA Service Component Project. This brings up the AIA Service Constructor. The first step is to select the Service Solution Component Request that was entered in Project Lifecycle Workbench by the Solution Architect. So we'll click this Import Service Component Request button. Here we're going to connect to the AIA Lifecycle Management Database. So we need to choose our database connection. And here we'll choose the database connection that I created earlier in JDeveloper to the AIA Lifecycle Database. And we'll confirm our database selection. And now you see the eligible service solution component requests. Let's expand this left hand column. And let's select this request for a Provider ABCS for the Credit Card Validation Business Task. On the Service Description page, you now see the information entered by the Solution Architect for the Service Solution component in Project Lifecycle Workbench. We'll accept these values. This Service Details page defines details about the participating application as well as the service that's been created. You see some values that are already populated from Project Lifecycle Workbench. The product code of the application, the industry, which is core, and the service type, which is a provider ABCS. Let's enter the rest. We'll make the participating application name a user-friendly name to describe the service. Credit Card Validation Service. The system code will make AIA Demo CCV01 the application short name is just a short code to quickly identify assets. The service operation or the verb of the service is process. And since this is the first version, we'll enter 1 for service version. On the service object page, we define the type of message that this ABCS will receive. Here we're defining a Provider ABCS, and Provider ABCSs are invoked by Enterprise Business Messages, or EBMs, which are routed by Enterprise Business Services, or EBSs. EBSs have published WSDLs, so the Service Constructor can inspect the service and auto-populate variables for us. So let's click the Select Service Operation button, and since AIA EBS WSDLs are published to MDS, we'll do a search, and we'll select the Resource Palette, and navigate down into the AIA MDS connection, into the Enterprise Business Service Library, Core, EBO, and here we're going to choose the Received Payment EBS. 
Now the service constructor reads the WSDL and provides you with a list of available operations and will choose Process Credit Card Authorization. Now back on the service object page, you can see that the service constructor has inspected the service and operation and has automatically populated the attributes that make up the interface of this service, such as namespace, input and output messages, message exchange pattern, and so on. So let's continue. And similarly, on the Service Object Fault Details page, the fault information is also auto-populated. We'll accept the defaults derived from the EBS WSDL and continue. Now on this Target Service Details page, we'll define the details for the target service this provider ABCS will invoke. In this case, to validate the credit card, we'll invoke the Credit Authorization Service from the AIA demo application. So let's find the WSDL for this service. We'll use the Resource Palette. And again, go down into the AIA MDS connection. into the Application Object Library, AIA Demo, Version 1, WSDLs. And let's select this Credit Authorization Service WSDL. Note that typically you wouldn't upload a concrete WSDL to MDS, but it's done in this case for easy access in the AIA demo application. And we're going to use the authorized credit operation. Now back on the target service details page, the service constructor has inspected the service and operation and pre-populated nearly all of the attributes. We just need to set the object name to credit card. And note that by default, all the old auto-populated fields are not editable. If for some reason you need to change any of these fields, select this Enable WSDL Define fields to make them editable. If you wish, you can go to Options, which allows you to configure various target service options. The Composite Application Validation Service, or CAVs, and Reference WSDL creation are enabled by default. If an extension service is used, you can enable it here. In this case, we'll use the defaults. On this Target Service Fault Details, we'll also accept the default values that were supplied automatically by the Service Operation Inspection. On the Service Options page, We'll set the runtime location of the AIA Async Error Handling Beeple Process Service. Here I'm pasting the actual runtime endpoint location value. We're not adding an extension service nor creating a custom fault policy. And that's all we need to do, so let's finish up. And now JDeveloper is generating the SOA composite. And here we see the generated composite in the composite overview. You can see the exposed service, the external references to the error handler, and the credit authorization service. And in the middle is the generated Beeple for the ABCS. The final task is to compile the composite. We'll right-click the project and select Make. And let's scroll down and ensure there are no errors and that the build was successful. So that's it for creating an ABCS using the AIA Service Constructor.